Hello, it's Carrie Cordy. It is Sunday, September 10th, 2017. So a few days ago, the press release went out for the event, which once again, it's called We All Belong Here, a Community Forum. It's taking place at the Coos History Museum, 6.30 to 8.30. We also had a meeting with um, our communications group and we broke out into a, a few areas. We fully defined what this forum is going to be and that there's going to be a press conference before this forum and our... Um, uh, Pastor Israel is the main media contact, and he gets the media in touch with me, and on the press release is my name, and I'm the person that's going to be giving all of the interviews and television interviews. And I've already been, last week, I was interviewed by a reporter from the World Link, the newspaper here. Coos Bay, the Coos County area, and it went pretty well. She was a, a former Mormon, and so there was that kind of understanding, and it was over an hour and a half, and some of the people from my team didn't like to hear that, and they want me to keep it a little bit more brief and on the point, and this first interview was set up through one of our lovely ladies who is providing pretty much all of the media contacts, the direct people to get a hold of, rather than the general give it to the just somebody at a desk. You know, it's, it's specific people this has been sent out to. And it's it's amazing how much people have to do. I've taken on uh, ally training that that's going to be given and so I'm going to be coming up with that training along with two others in the group um, I'm gonna be doing a lot of the meat and bones of this because I'm the only one in the group that's trans in this specific um, planning thing so there's going to be speakers and then there's going to be a panel, and then there's going to be um, the little bit of the Q&A training kind of thing. And I'm going to be speaking, then I'm going to be on the panel, and then I'm going to be, basically I'm leading the, the, the ally training. And... A wonderful lady who's in the rural or organizing project. She is going to be um, basically kind of emceeing the whole event. You know, so she takes control. And so, like, when I'm telling my stories and shit, you know, she gets me back in, you know, line and kind of like, you know. So it's kind of funny because it's my story so broad and. But I'm speaking from my heart, and as is as wonderful as it is to be supported and and listened to, and have this going somewhere. You know, way way ago, after this first started and the group formed, they had me call the FBI, a specific agent, even, and the, you know the FBI said there's nothing they can do; they weren't interested. And, you know, that was a shock to the people in my group because it was a specific task at a number I was calling, you know, a specific guy. And, you know, I didn't leave a message, you know, it was, he was there, picked up his line. It was, you know, amazing kind of thing. And the the people were shocked at this level and the, the press was the only way to go was to change the community. And so... These people trust me. 
and it's like we're going to support Carrie and in, in what she says and how she decides to go through with this you know some of the people that have have been you know in the media and that kind of thing they're they're telling me that I shouldn't be using my my name and where I live and I've basically been refusing all along and at the meeting you know there were several people speaking up that she can't do this and Grace from the Rural Organizing Project, she said, well, this is Carrie's decision, as much as some of us, most of us disagree with it, she's decided to go forward, and we got to trust her with this. Last night, I got a call from somebody in the group. It was an official call about my standing in the group, but also is the PFLAG secretary for the South Coast Coos Bay chapter. Um, apparently there's a, a trans person that, that goes out of their way to, to just cause trouble for, you know, causes like this for various reasons. And it was like an hour long call and you know, I'm this whole official and it's because I'm the foreground of all of this. You know, um, you know I'm, I'm basically the name of it. And, um, you know, it was a warning for, you know, what I'm dealing with, and especially since I'm public, and what, how to kind of deal with, with the comments, and since I'm public, the Facebook requests, and, and how even this channel might really explode, because I told the reporters, you know, I, I only have, you know, like 40 or so subscribers, and I don't even tag my videos anymore. You know, I did at the beginning, but now I don't tag it. And it's just one of those things. If people find it and they like it and whatever they share, you know, it's it's something I do that means something. I don't charge anything. I don't broadcast none of that. I don't pay for any any kick or whatever. You know, this 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 isn't you know paid to be higher in a search. You know, it's like this form, and it's like the way I live my life. I'm doing it because it means something. And it's impossible that this doesn't mean something to other people, too. So that's why I share more people in the, in the world need to do this. It needs to be okay in society to really kind of do what I'm doing. And... That's the scariest thing of all. It's outside normal. I've never been normal, though. <laughs> okay, I'll go. See ya.